Yo, what's going on guys? So like I always say before these types of videos, if you want a chance to be featured, you can send me a crazy story or your crazy predicament. Maybe you just need relationship advice, financial advice, really anything, just send it on over to me at jamariadvice at gmail.com. Once again, that's jamariadvice at gmail.com. I look forward to reading y'all's emails, but for now we got an email from a young lady, an email from a female, and she says, Hi, I'm 24 years old, and about a month ago I started dating someone, let's just call him Jay. Oh, the ever-elusive single letter for someone's name. I feel like J's get a bad rap, like if we're some type of players, like if we're some type of bad guys. But really, we're just simply the most loyal on this planet. I don't really know how else to say that. So she says, we met at a club in March, and I'm not the type to go out and party, but I wanted to celebrate my cousin and her friend's birthday month, so I agreed to it. His cousin, at the time I didn't know, invited me to the VIP, which I was skeptical, but my cousin wanted to go, and so we did. Oh, they're preying on that fresh club meat. I met Jay, he was drunk, and I thought he was weird, but funny. Oh, that's always a good sign, gentlemen, you know, when she calls you funny. I feel like that's kind of the immediate in, like, even if you're butt ugly, even if she doesn't like something about the way you look physically, as long as you're funny, you might have a chance. His cousin and my cousin were both convincing us to share numbers or whatever. Oh, is that how it happened? So I gave him my Snapchat just in case he was a weirdo. Yeah, I feel like that's always a good move, but uh, knowing people and technology these days, if he truly is a weirdo stalker, he's probably going to be watching you through your little iPhone camera. She says, so we randomly talked and he asked me to hang out a couple days after giving him my Snapchat. I'm not the type to meet strangers, especially if I've met them at the club. You know, you keep saying you're not the type to, first of all, go to the club. Now you say you're not the type to meet strangers. But I have a feeling that you are going to meet up with this man. So I kept curving him, but one day I had mentioned I liked anime and recommended him Death Note. He watched it and he said he really liked it. Well, yeah, of course he really likes it. He's trying to get into your pants. You don't know how many shows I've watched for the stupidest women. I got about four seasons deep into New Girl for absolutely no reason. She says that's when he caught my attention and after a while of talking, I agreed to meet up with him for some sushi. Oh, this man's trying to spend some money. I remember back like my freshman year of college, I was about a week into campus life. And I uh, found a girl there and I asked if she wanted to go get some sushi. Took it to this place called Zushi Sushi. And uh, I spent about 20% of my $400 net worth there that day. It definitely wasn't worth it. She says, this was my first date ever. Wow, you're 24 years old and you're going on your first date with a man from the club. That's kind of like sending a baby cub out there to meet the hyena. I was wearing a navy blue romper and I was nervous since I'm not confident at all. Oh, it makes me kind of sad. I thought maybe he was gonna leave me with a bill or not like me or whatever. Oh no, I promise you this guy likes you. He's out here watching complete series for you, a fucking anime, and you think he really doesn't like you? So then after dinner, I let him take me to Boondocks. I don't know what that is. And we did this course thing, which was really fun. I assume it's like a arcade or something. After that, he said if I wanted to go look out over the mountain. Oh, this guy has done this about 50 times. Look out over the mountain. Give me a break. I always wanted to go up there and I said we can go if you wanted to look out over the city. At that moment, I didn't think that's where people pretty much hook up. Oh, on top of the mountaintop? How romantic. He wanted to pass by the liquor store. Of course, he's gotta get some of that happy juice in you. And he bought himself a pack of beer and he got me some girly drinks. I only took one. He then kissed me and I thought, He likes me? Well, of course he likes you. I mean, you're out here on this date. He bought you sushi. He already watched Death Note. I mean, he at least likes you enough to kiss you or wanna fuck you. She says this kiss felt weird since it was so intense and I barely know him. Yeah, I'm telling you, I hate to be the one to be the bearer of bad news, but this is not this guy's first rodeo. In fact, I would definitely go out on a huge limb and say that he's kissed someone in that exact spot. She says he then tried, sorry I know this is probably weird, to finger me. That's when I stopped him. Yeah, anyone who's going for the finger on the first date has to be very experienced. She says I told him I didn't want to and he said, Oh, okay, that's fine. We can just chill. I thought, okay, cool. So then he later tried to grope me and I told him, no, I don't like that. Yeah, if you tell someone the first time no and then the same day or even like 
any other time they're trying to grope you when you, they know you're not completely cool with it that's pretty fucked up and uh i think that was probably about the time you should have removed yourself from that situation now typing this i'm realizing he's such an asshole but it sucks now because i was a virgin when i met him oh my gosh oh where's this story gonna go i told him that after he kept making moves on me we kept on talking and he invited me on more dates. Oh, he's looking for that golden red ticket. We never did anything, but one time he invited me to his place and I thought we were just going to watch a movie. Okay, so, uh, you know, at some point you have to stop being so naive. You know, this is the same guy who on the very first date tried to get you a little bit drunk and finger you on the mountain. And you really think that if you go into his humble abode where he just controls the whole environment, that y'all are just gonna watch a movie. I mean, okay. He again tried to make a move, and I told him no. So he'd stop, and I started to kind of cry because I felt so little. Oh, that's really sad. He said, You know you're practically my girlfriend now. Oh, that's just a classic douchebag move. I'm sorry, guys. I'm giving away all of our tricks. See, he's trying to make you feel real secure so that y'all can have he then said we don't have to do anything i don't want and he made me feel comfortable well that's good so we didn't do anything until he kissed me again and i felt being a virgin and in that moment innocent i felt like maybe this is normal this is what couples do right so maybe it's okay so i asked him to be gentle which he was and stopped when i asked him to so yeah this guy just pretty much used the oldest trick in the book on you he really wanted to have sex so uh he cracked and just gave his probably fake commitment yeah it's just crazy because you're already 24 years old you know usually a lot of people have experienced all of this by now and uh this guy sounded like he was very experienced from the start she says on october 3rd he takes me to look on the mountain again and asked me to be his girlfriend. I was so confused because I thought we already were. I told him and don't remember what he said. So I thought, oh, I wasn't sure what to think. But we did it in his car. It's kind of funny, you know, it's almost like the butterfly effect. You know, if you never um agreed to go with your cousin on their birthday, none of this would have ever happened. You'd probably still be at home watching your anime. And uh, you would have never given up this golden red ticket. So you can thank your cousin for this entire situation. We still talk and hang out and I guess we're dating. I guess we're dating. I never thought I would read that sentence. It's been about a month now and I get the feeling he's talking to other girls and I'm afraid he's sleeping with them. Yeah, even talking to them would be enough for me to be like, nah, I'm out. I thought I saw a pic of a girl showing her breast. I didn't say anything because I wasn't 100% sure, and I thought maybe it wasn't. Wow, Jesus, are you such a sweetheart. You know, pretty much any girl I've ever dated, if they even thought they saw an inkling of a titty on my phone, they would have smacked me aside the head with a brick and probably killed my ass. Later on, I had put my status on Facebook as in a relationship, and he didn't change his... Even when I mentioned it to him. That's always awkward when you're uh, ready to go Facebook official and the uh, other person is just kind of ignoring you. I said, because I have respect for you is something along the lines and he ignored it. Yeah, it's not a good sign. Yesterday he was watching videos on his phone while I sat in his bed. I also try not being on my phone when I'm with him to show respect. What is he, your lieutenant or your boyfriend? He does too, but this time he was watching videos and wasn't trying to hide his phone, so I was watching them with him. I saw that dating heart thing on Facebook. You know the one? Yes, I do know the one. But I don't know if you should be too suspicious. I remember I was already in a relationship on Facebook and they were still sending me that shit. Was wondering if that was going to get me in trouble one day. So she saw the dating app and she says, Oh, is that the new update? Mine doesn't have it. Which is such a classic way for a woman to bring something up. He says, man, can't I just watch my videos? Which is such a classic thing for a guy to say. At that moment, I tried to not cry and I wanted to tell him, do you want me to leave so you can be alone and watch your videos? But I knew if I did, I was going to cry and I didn't want him to see me cry. He turns his phone off and puts funny videos on YouTube. He's laughing and I'm not really laughing. A tear did come out, but I wiped it away. Oh my gosh. He looks at me and asked, Why are you all the way over there? I just smiled and said, I don't know. He then continued to watch the vids and looked back and said, You don't laugh or what? I think I've been pushing myself to put up with it because I gave him, you know, 
Yes, I know, your golden red ticket. And I'm afraid to lose him. You know, in this situation, I feel like you're kind of ready to leave the relationship, but you feel bad because you did give this guy your virginity. This is something, like I said, a lot of, you know, girls would probably go through, I don't know, maybe like in their high school years or early college years. And you're a little bit older. Like I said, it sounds like this guy was very experienced. He was out there in the club. He had probably done this a couple times. This wasn't his first rodeo. And uh, it seems like y'all are just at two way different... Uh, um, maturity levels when it comes to relationships and maybe just your life in general. So I don't know. I'm not going to say he's cheating because well, there's not enough evidence here for me to really declare that. But I do think that you should talk with him about how you feel. Don't be afraid to leave him just because you lost your virginity to him. You know, I know that that can be a, a thing that people really consider. But if you're not happy, it's time to go and it's time to find somebody else. It sounds like you two aren't really that compatible in my opinion. But what do I know? Sometimes opposites attract. Let me know what y'all thought about this video down below. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I got some heat coming tomorrow. I got a story that's really hot off the presses. So uh, I'll be back then. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.